Alright guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you the new Bose ME90 multi-effects pedal board. Before jump into the review, of course, I have to send a huge thanks to Lucky Music because this video is sponsored by Lucky Music. You have the link in the description if you want to purchase directly from Lucky Music the Boss ME90. They can ship all around Europe without any problem. But of course, as always, all the talks and opinion are mine. So let's jump to review this beauty. So basically this Boss ME90 is the successor of this Boss ME80 and as you can see it's always in the style of the 80 okay because it's very simple multi-effects unit there is no any giant touch screen LCD so it's very old style old school you have basically all these knobs that refers to all the pedals so this is in my opinion a really compact pedal board with everything you need if you come from analog word basically so if you are familiar with pedals knobs amplifiers this is more towards your taste in my opinion so if you are maybe a young guitarist that grow up with modelers maybe this is too much old school for you but to all the people that i don't know i, I can say 40 years old and so on and so forth Maybe this is for you because it's more familiar to what you are used to, okay? So as you can see, it's really a simple unit, but you have tons of effects and you can also control everything with the editor, which I have here, the Boss uh, Tone Studio editor. And already inside you have a lot of presets, but you can also download presets from the Tone Exchange that I'll show you in a moment. Today I'll show you um, four or five presets that I already prepared and you can also download from the tone exchange you have the link in the description so if you want to have the tone that I show you today you can do that so let's introduce the machine as you can see it's very simple because talking about the connection you have basically only the input of your instruments guitar bass and so on a stereo output separated left and right and you have the send and return that's it you don't have anything else no midi as you can see you have of course the usb-c to control your editor and you have also the Bose bluetooth here the plug but of course is separated so if you want to use it you have to purchase the separate bluetooth extension let me say as you can see i'm not using any boss psu because you don't need the power cable because right now i'm using battery <laughs> inside there are four AA batteries so are also included this time so it's not included in power supply even if you can use with power supply of course but as you can see I am running with batteries so it's super portable you don't need the current you don't need power and this is a great plus for me for all the kind of bands or performance that usually perform in streets or, or in the kind of environment that you don't have any power and this is great because i think it's last eight hours of continuous play so it's really a lot for a pedal board with all these kind of effects that you can run okay so let's now talk about the main panel so all the effects that you can get and then of course i play my favorite presets that I prepared here for this video. So as you can see here, you have all the selection of the preamp. You can go from the natural crunch, X crunch, X gain, and of course here I have also the X modded. These are the new um, amplifier made by Bose. So all from Bose, okay, are not the copy or the capture of other things, are stock by Bose. Then you have this maximum juggernauts, which is really, heavy heavy stuff and then on the other side you have the twin combo which is really lovely if you push this amplifier it's really plexi tweed combo and of course if you use low amount of gain
Diamond. Brit stack, which is basically the, the Marshall style, and the Rect stack, which is basically the Mesa Boogie style. When you see stack, basically is the, the full rig with also the cabinet. So you have amplifier and cabinet. And when you don't see any, any written part, like for example, diamond or high gain, these are only the amplifier, so no any cabinet. And basically you will use the internal cabinet emulation. It's called originally here on the editor. I can show you here, for example, if I go here on the output, you can decide to use, for example, original, which is a emulation, so it's an impulse response from BOSS, or you have this kind of impulse response that you can load. So these are my impulse responses, and you can decide. So this is the preamp section. You choose the amplifier, and you have the gain, bass, middle, treble, and volume of the amplifier. Then you have all these kind of effects. You can basically combine different effects. For example, here is written compressor and FX1, and you can decide to use it like a compressor if you use it the first one, or you can go to the WA app. So basically, so it's an auto WA or slow gear, it's making a fade in. Or for example, octave. By the way, all these three different knobs are to change the behavior of this effect. So for example, if you are choosing the octave, you can decide, for example, tune down. my standard. Actually, I'm in drop D. If you want, you can also go down. Okay, and so and so forth. Then you can engage, of course, the overdrive. You have a lot of overdrive here. You have distortion, blues overdrive, centaur, tube screamer, overdrive boost, rats, metal, and so on and so forth. And of course, you can change the drive, tone, and level per each kind of overdrive you want to engage. Then you have the modulation. As you can see, you have vibrato, chorus, tremolo, flanger, phaser, harmonist, rotary, univibe, etc., etc. But as you can see, you have also different effects uh, also in different position. For example, you have here, as you can see, the boost in the equalizer, okay? You can engage it, for example, if you go to, uh, this is from memory, but you can also to manual. So clicking here, I can control all the stone boxes and I can put on and off all the parameter. For example, here with the EQ, I can engage or not this parameter. All has been thought from boss because as you can see, you cannot change the signal path, okay? You have this straight line and you cannot move the blocks, okay? You cannot place it in another place. So you cannot do that because all has been already thought by both. And this is easier, in my opinion, for all the people that don't know how to create a, a guitar tone. So this is easy for you. That's why this paddleboard is for for sure for beginner and for all the people that comes from analog, pure analog gear. So this is my opinion, okay? Then you have, of course, the delay. So all the compart for the delay, reverse, module, warm, tape, analog, and so on and so forth. I don't want to show you everything because it would be too long, this video. And if you want to see very detailed video per each kind of gear, you can see the video of Andy Ferris, the guitar gig. I'll link down below because Andy made an amazing in-depth video. Actually, lots of video, lots of real on Instagram if you want to follow Andy Guitar Gig. Uh, now I want to show you how this unit sounds and I've already talked too much, so let's play something. So let me show you my presets. For example, this is the first preset on the bank one. You can see also the routing here. And basically, I have a preamplifier, which is 
um, let me say, uh, I cannot see it. It's a Brit stack, so basically a Marshall. And as you can listen, it sounds like this. <laughs> And this is called Zacking because it reminds me Zack Wide. So I've used the Brit stack, so basically Marsha, then I have here an overdrive, and as you can see, I have used the RAT DS, which is set like this, all the way tone and just a bit of level, only to push basically the amplifier. I can also disengage it. This is the amplifier. Just a bit more, and as you can listen, the Zach Wild tone is with chorus. That's why I have basically engaged a chorus, as you can see here, so in the equalizer, which is basically here. This is without chorus. With chorus. And also this reverb, it's a whole reverb. I really like this reverb. You have a room reverb. A whole reverb. And a spring. Yeah. And of course, I've also engaged this delay. This delay only for the solo. If you want, you can also engage the wah, because I already prepared the wah, and you can basically engage it, I think, with the control here. Of course, this new pedal ball has been updated with the AIRD technology, which basically is inside all the new Boss pedals and pedal board. Let's now switch to the second preset, of course, always the first bank, and this is my sound. <laughs> It's called Zeppelin because it reminds me a bit the Led Zeppelin style tone with the plexi, really acid sound. <laughs> And there is this really short room that I can engage or not with this one. Here I have a really short delay to create this slap back. And I've used uh, the tape delay. <laughs> without delay 
And as you can listen, the sound comes from this twin combo amplifier, which is really pushed. As you can see, the gain is at the maximum. If I use the gain lower, Let's go now to the third preset. This is called Barracuda. Why Barracuda? <laughs> Lovely flanger here. Without. the pedal you can assign whatever you want uh, for example let's assign the, the voice let's listen to this voice it's really interesting so you can assign the pedal with this CTL actually right now I'm using the pedal with the comp you can also use the pedal clicking here but since I, I'm not using my feet uh, it would be really difficult to push it okay so you can go here on the ctl and you can decide to engage for example the uh, pedal effects with the ctl and also the compressor for example so together i'm engaging with the ctl both the compressor and the pedal effects as you can see it's together so when i engage it i can control the voice with the pedal <laughs> really really strange now let's go to my fourth preset and this is called clean trim <laughs> As you can see, there is a tremolo here. This is a chorus. As you can see, you can engage, of course, the tremolo here on the modulation or here on the EQ. Let's now go to the last preset, which is on the upper bank, number one. Yeah. So I can disengage, for example, for now, the reverb and the delay. As 
you can see, I'm using a tune down, and basically I've placed, as you can see here, uh, minus four um, semitones, which is basically, let me, let me disengage it. So minus two tones. and engaging also the delay. And the reverb. Alright guys, so this is the Boss ME90. I want to also show you that, for example, if you go here on the Librarian, you can also see all the set lists that you can create. So basically it's these settings that I've shown right now. But you can also go, for example, on the Tone Central, you go on the net, and you can download already set lists that have been created from Boss. For example, the Metal Collection here, you can see these settings and you can add it complete. For example, the blues collection, you can edit complete. And as you can see, if you turn back on the librarian, you have here all the settings and you can drag and drop and basically load in your paddleboard. Really, really easy. Remember that you have all these presets that I've shown you directly on the tone exchange. Of course, you have the link in the description from Lucky Music. Again, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.